Have you ever looked at that bottle of baby oil sitting on your shelf and wondered, how is this made? It seems so simple. A clear, gentle liquid that glides onto the skin, locking in moisture and making everything feel soft and smooth. But behind that silky texture is a fascinating process that involves chemistry, precision, and strict quality standards. Today, we're diving deep into how baby oil is made, from raw materials to that final product ready for the nursery shelf. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Baby oil is a personal care product primarily used to moisturize and protect delicate skin, especially for infants. While it has many uses for adults too, such as makeup removal, massage, and soothing dry patches, its formulation is designed to be incredibly gentle. The most common ingredient in baby oil is mineral oil, a highly purified derivative of petroleum. It's odorless, colorless, and safe for skin when properly refined. Sometimes other ingredients are added, like fragrance, vitamin E, or aloe vera. But the foundation is always mineral oil. And before you raise an eyebrow at petroleum, don't worry. It's not the same stuff you pump into a car. The mineral oil used in baby products goes through multiple purification steps to remove all impurities and contaminants, making it safe, stable, and skin-friendly. The journey begins deep underground. Petroleum, a natural resource extracted from the earth, is the starting material. Once brought to the surface, crude oil is sent to refineries where it's separated into different components through a process called fractional distillation. This separates the crude oil into various hydrocarbon chains, gasoline, diesel, kerosene, and other substances, including a fraction called white mineral oil. This specific cut of the distillation process is what forms the base of baby oil. But at this stage, it's far from pure. It contains unwanted substances that must be carefully removed before it can go anywhere near human skin. Purification is the most critical part of making baby oil. The raw mineral oil is subjected to a multi-step refining process that involves hydro treatment, acid treatment, and filtration. Hydro treatment involves reacting the oil with hydrogen gas at high temperatures and pressures. This process removes sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, and any other reactive compounds, making the oil more stable and less likely to irritate skin. After hydro treatment, Acid treatment helps neutralize any leftover impurities, while filtration through activated carbon or clay removes color, odor, and microscopic particles. The result is a clear, odorless, and highly stable oil known as pharmaceutical grade or cosmetic grade mineral oil, the key ingredient in baby oil. Once the mineral oil is purified, it's time to make it more appealing. This is where manufacturers may add fragrance oils to give baby oil that light, soothing scent most people recognize. These fragrances are selected carefully. Only hypoallergenic, dermatologically tested compounds are used, ensuring the product remains gentle enough for sensitive skin. In some cases, brands add ingredients like aloe vera extract or vitamin E, which offer additional skin soothing and antioxidant properties. These additives are mixed in using industrial blending machines that ensure even distribution without altering the oil's smooth texture. Every batch is tested for consistency in scent, clarity, and thickness. Before it's bottled, baby oil undergoes rigorous quality control. Samples from each batch are tested in laboratories to confirm purity, consistency, and absence of harmful bacteria or contaminants. The pH level. Although oil-based products don't technically have a pH like water-based solutions, is still evaluated to ensure skin compatibility. Viscosity tests ensure the oil spreads evenly without feeling greasy. Fragrance levels are measured, and microbial tests are run to rule out bacterial growth. 
For baby products, the bar is set even higher. The oil must meet national and international safety regulations, including those set by the US FDA, the European Union, and other health authorities worldwide. Some companies also conduct patch tests on volunteers to confirm that the product doesn't cause allergic reactions or skin irritation. Once a batch is cleared through quality control, the final step is bottling. The oil is pumped into a sterile bottling line where it's automatically filled into plastic or glass containers, typically made of BPA-free materials to ensure safety. The machines are calibrated to fill each bottle with a precise amount, after which a secure cap is screwed or snapped on. Labels are printed with ingredients, batch numbers, usage instructions, and expiration dates. Finally, the bottles are packed into boxes and prepared for shipping. Throughout this process, hygiene and sterility are paramount. Workers wear protective clothing, and the environment is temperature and dust controlled to maintain cleanliness. In recent years, some consumers have raised concerns about using petroleum-based products like mineral oil. While studies have shown that cosmetic-grade mineral oil is safe, sustainable alternatives have emerged. Some companies now offer plant-based baby oils made with coconut oil, sunflower oil, or yojoba oil, blended with similar fragrances and vitamins. These products undergo similar refining and testing procedures, but they appeal to parents looking for environmentally friendly or vegan alternatives. Whether traditional or plant-based, what remains constant is the strict attention to safety, purity, and skin compatibility. Because when it comes to babies, there's no room for compromise. So the next time you pick up a bottle of baby oil, you'll know it's not just a simple liquid in a plastic bottle. It's the result of geological processes, advanced chemistry, meticulous refining, and strict safety checks all to ensure that it's gentle enough for the most sensitive skin on the planet. Whether you're using it on your baby or for yourself, baby oil is a fascinating example of science and care working hand in hand. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.